Okay, part five. Now I've got this design here. This is a monogram. It has open lines on it, as you can see. And I want to union a font in here between these, in this font field, or whatever you want to call it, nameplate. So I'll type out my name, example, and select a new font. Okay, now I'll bring this down here and adjust the size where it will weld in there. Uh, I can select, hold shift, select the monogram there and align that to the center. Now I want to union this in here, so now I will select this and go path, object to path. Now I have a group of seven objects, so object, ungroup. Now I want to union those all together, so path, union. Now I have my font, and it's ready to union in here. But, here's where you run into problems with these closed paths. If I hold shift and select my monogram, and go path, union, as you can see a lot of details disappeared in here, and some details changed. So I'm going to hit control Z. You see these details there, the, the door, the window changed. When I union those together, path, union, I lose a lot of details. So, control Z again. What you're gonna do here with this type is you're gonna select this and go path, break apart. Now what I wanna do is add this font in here, but you're not gonna union it between this piece here you're going to actually select your font select this inner rectangle the the font field there and you're going to go path difference now you're going to select all this and go path combine now that's one path and ready to send to the plasma and cut I had to difference that out of that center piece instead of unioning it in there. Unioning. <laughs> Sorry. But I think it's a little hard to get your head around there because normally with this type, if this was closed paths, you would union your font between these two. But instead with this type, you're going to break it apart and difference your font out of that center piece and then combine what's left with, with the main design and that's ready to cut. So that's probably, of these three open path designs, that's probably the trickiest one just to get your head around how to put the font in there. So in this case, you're going to difference it out of the centerpiece and then combine everything back together. Okay, so that covers the five different styles of monograms I see people have issues with. Hopefully that helps some people out. Thanks for watching.